What was that? Please take your seats and what enjoy. Sound? No sound. <laughs> Credit and we're gonna have to doubt that. I don't know. Hello, and welcome to this special Anthrocon edition of Fur Gear. We apologize, but we could not bring you all a car to test around our track. But then, there's really not many free, reasonably scripted cars here in the second line. We really did try to find a car. However, we only had a few moments of research while the script was being written, and our department of overly worked foxes. And our team of circus-trained pandas could only seem to find us free magic carpets, helicopters, and, bizarrely enough, pirate ships. That being said, however, thanks to Omni, our special ops kitty, it's gonna be easy we do have a to reasonably scripted bike. Well, and and with that, that way, so it's time to find out what it's like to put an avatar on our bike. For that, our guest tonight, all the way from Dragon Valley, is none other than the fox himself, Foxkin and Fondo. Yeah, we got some prepping. Welcome. Please have a seat. <laughs> so the first question is tonight. The bike. How did she handle it? Well, the bike handled like a dream. She slid in out of the corners as smooth as fur on a mink. And the acceleration was fantastic, mm. like a cheetah with its mm -hmm. tail on fire. So then, I understand that this isn't the first time you've ridden a bike. Well, in my younger days, I did have a Kawasaki that I customized into a cafe racer. Mm. With the ported engine and the high spark system and some racing cars, that baby would do 140 miles an hour in a quarter mile. I see. So tell us, what about other vehicles? What else do you have experience with? Well, I have my red coupe that I drive back and forth from conventions. That and my Algerian pedal jumper, but it's getting harder to find fuel for my neck with a generator these days. Sounds like that must have been pretty exciting. So, let's have a look and see how you did. <laughs> and we're off to a good start as he makes a mad dash from his hotel room to attend the opening ceremonies. Makes his way through the registration line and slings through the dealer's den. He zips on down the art show, weasels his way through the first suit parade, gives a small performance for the masquerade, Ranting corners comes out and off of Kage Story Hour. <laughs> Just in time to hit the headless lounge for a short rest before closing ceremonies as he saunters back to his hotel room for his final stay. Oh, that was a very good laugh. Yeah, she was a little squirrely in the S curves, but other than that, quite fun. Well, it. It seems that you've managed to go around the track faster than, shall we say, Uncle Kage can finish a bottle of wine? That gives me a good feeling. Your time tonight is 54 seconds on the dot. Yeah. That means you're the fastest furry on our track. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course, this isn't counting that squirrel that broke in a few weeks back after a double shot of espresso. 
And on that bombshell, we would like to thank you for watching. A special thanks to Foxkin for coming it's going in. To be and please, tune in next time. Good night, folks. Ladies. I don't think they're going to let us do that. He's asked me to lie to me. He did? Yeah, there's a big... There's a window, right? There's a curtain right there, but we can... We'd have to run now if we have to run. Do we, do we go that way or do we go that way? What do you want me to do? I'm just seeing what's uh, going to happen next. Are we going to roll the credits? Yes. That sounds fucking awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. Now which way are we going? We've got one. Where are we going over there? Or are we going that way and around back? Choose now. That way might be the quickest. But we have time to go that way. Let's go this way then. Because you were told to be escorted around soon back. My badge is already in here. <laughs>